Which I know. Ooh, it's lifting up. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? Anyways, welcome back to my channel, Angels. Warm welcome to my new Angels. Welcome. Today I'm here with another advice video. But before we begin, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it around. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Right there or there. Whichever side. <laughs> Is that red button? Subscribe in it. But yeah. Anyways, everybody's asleep right now and I'm here acting like I know everything in front of the camera. But anyways, thank you all for coming through with your advices and um, whatever everybody's going through, I know it's, we're going to get through this. It's tough ones. A lot of it came through and I'm not sure how this video is going to go but I'll try to keep it simple as I can. I'll try to give you guys the answers like small but meaningful you know if that makes sense but anyways I uh, for those that came through for help with advice I already answered them but I told them I'll answer it in front of the camera anyways just in case there's somebody else going through that as well you know there's a lot of similar problems going on out there you know but yeah I had to write them down because the mother's brain will forget about stuff so I had to write the names down and save the um, the messages and everything so let's get through it but for my haters I say whoever needs help not whatever I am I got like most of hatred you know that yellow um, that yellow app I got some hatred because it's anonymous so you know, people came through they were throwing like they were throwing hatred comments and I was like sorry y'all but it's all in the trash I threw it in the trash I'm not gonna answer y'all because I don't have time for y'all you know I'm here to help those that are in need of help you guys don't need help at all my haters but hi if you're watching <laughs> But anyways, let's begin. The first, the first advice that I'm gonna be giving, I try to keep the name as anonymous as I can. It says, um, first, I just wanted to say that you're an amazing mother to your kids. Keep being you, cause your your energy is what is needed in this cruel world we live in. You know, I'm in a complicated situation, and somehow. I don't know what to do which is odd because I always know what to do or say in every situation so you date someone for some time you all been through some some much shit together they were there for you in times of need and you thought to yourself that they could be there that they could be the one you later found out that he had another woman in his life I. The woman says that there was something between them. He swore to you that there was nothing and you believed him because he had never lied to you. Or at least that's what you thought. You became paranoid and broke up with him. Not because you couldn't trust him but because everyone who comes into your life has done nothing but screw you over. A few months later he comes back to you begging for a second chance that he wants to prove that everything that he been said was all a lie what do you do Whew. thank you anyways for that um for the start thank you for the beginning thank you for the compliment of you know you know how you started it, it was really nice of you i really appreciate that and back to your message I I'm just gonna I'm gonna answer it in my own perspective because by the look of things you guys love each other a lot you know and then the devil is a liar sis the devil is a liar yeah? he will bring somebody between you guys and see how 
how how how you know how weak your relationship is you know and by the look of things I don't know who's the weakest in your relationship because it seems like maybe that woman might be lying for her own benefit to get your man or maybe the guy is lying just to keep the other woman as a side chick I don't know it's very complicated but it's a very wrong move that you made breaking up with him because you haven't got an evidence you know the other woman is saying there's something going on between them but he, he's never lied to you you know so you basically team up with the woman and broke up with him you know instead of waiting for more truths to come out you know so if he just stop like if you know he's a potential guy if he knows he does everything for you if you, you know deep down he's the one for you fight for your relationship because nowadays hyenas are on the loose hyenas are on the loose and they're ready to snatch anybody's meat that's loosing around you know <laughs> so sis think about it think about it you know you guys be strong in that relationship and don't let anybody come between you yeah I hope that answer your you know your situation anyways let's move on to the next one by the way this topic is full of baby daddies <laughs> I saw a lot of baby daddies I was just like far out what's wrong with y'all like <sighs> anyways let's go to the next one the next one I need your advice on how to deal with your baby daddy constantly abusing you by text but when you see you when they see you they act like nothing happened what can I do honestly just move past what can I do to honestly just move past this and live happily because when I am doing better in life and trying to work on myself nigga always like to put me down well like I said in the beginning of the video some some like I feel like some statement statement need like an ace up advice so I had to give it I gave it to them straight away and I told them I'll answer in front of the camera so with that with that statement I'll say just like I gave you the advice I, I I'll say the baby daddy knows you from back to front he knows you very well and as soon as he sees you happy as soon as he sees you you're looking after yourself and your children and you're not taking care of like you know you're not worrying about him you know he will try to pull your leg a little bit you know try to drag it down you know drag, drag it down she's happy you know and she knows he knows you he knows your weakness already you know so it's up to you like if you see that kind of move coming from him it's up to you to you know try to avoid it or try to like just you know don't worry about it like don't let it like don't make the same reaction to the way you always do because he already knows you know so make a different reaction to it like don't care don't worry what he's doing you know like just look deep down in yourself and say no nah, that's it you know make sure they don't know you that well and yeah uh with the third one another baby daddy <laughs> This, this baby daddy did so ah. but anyways anyways let's go to the next one the next one is yeah uh, what do I do when a nigga did me so wrong cheating and preferring his friends over me and kids and now that he has a job and he sees me doing good for myself and I'm not worried about him anymore he wants his family back I know you already answered this question yeah <laughs> but we don't know how many females could go through the same thing true that when you find text that is the second question all right let me answer the first one yeah it seems like what they you know the previous 
it seems like it's the same as the previous baby daddy situation so the thing is I'll just tell you like I already answered this to you but for women that are going through the same situation like if they're doing that to you it's best for you to just continue looking after your children because the situation is so hard like they'll keep coming in and out in and out and you give them a chance but they'll continue to go back to the same people they were like it doesn't even take that long you know like they will talk about actions but their actions is different to their words you know so they will like you will give them a chance and like a few doesn't even take that long and they already change into the same person again and you have to go through over that again you know like you'll go over and over it's up to you to see like all right i've had enough you know it's time for me to make a decision and move forward find happiness for yourself a miserable mother is like if you're miserable your children will be miserable as well and if, but if you're happy and healthy your children will be happy and healthy as well you know just think about your children don't worry about this man mm. they're so annoying but don't worry about <laughs> don't worry about them you know <laughs> worry about your children yeah and with the second one when you find text messages between him and another female and you confront the female by calling her and she admits to having sexual relations with your nigga but your nigga don't want to admit it even though the female has no problem going on the phone to tell her the truth the nigga still doesn't want to because apparently he's not the type of drama who do you believe well the thing is if that female if that female have evidence if she's comfortable if she's comfortable to confront the person like let's say you mentioned like you know like you want to call you want to make a conference between those two and you know it's, it's always that person that avoids it is the one that's guilty so <laughs> it seems like your partner is already guilty because that woman already knows something happened between them she ain't got nothing to lose so it happened it happened so it, um, like and it's good that she's honest about it so you actually see where you stand you know because some women will say nah it didn't happen it didn't go that way but they'll still like it's always complicated but this one was straightforward with you so I appreciate that and actually like you know if that nigga is not being confronted like he doesn't want to give you the right answer and his actions are telling you know his actions are guilty then baby baby girl make the right decision for yourself you know make the right decision for yourself I can tell you to leave but at the end of the day is the father of your kids and I don't know how you guys feel about each other so the best thing to do is look for your happiness where is your happiness is it with him all right forgive him and continue with him but if it's not with him leave and go look for happiness where you find happiness you know if it's for your kids look after your kids and all of that but yeah let's go to the next one to the next one i hope i'm i'm, I'm like i hope i'm replying in the best understanding possible way because this stuff is not easy here comes another one how to do how do you deal with situation like your man does want anything to do with you but he loves kids and you want all your kids to have the same dad help a sister out well I had that mentality I told myself this is it for me you know with my with my ex-partner I said this is it for me and I actually told him so he he took advantage of that you know because it's like okay he said she said that so she's not gonna go anywhere so whatever he will do i always forgive him and we move forward so don't ever put that don't ever like don't ever doubt yourself like if you have kids there's always going to be that person out there you know that will love you with your children you know like you mentioned doesn't want anything to do with you but he wants something to do with these kids so it is you it is you that want something with him not him wanting something with you so best for you to look after your kids and 
find that happiness for yourself it's just like the same with the previous situation as well find happiness for yourself and he will know where he stands you know at that time when men sees women like mothers happy with their kids moving on that's when they're like oh she's actually strong she's actually doing good without me let me come back and if you come back and you, you guys want to sort things out it depends how you feel about yourself if you still have that mentality of saying like you know i want the same dad i want the same father with all the kids then you can you can forgive and move on but your happiness first baby girl your happiness first i hope that answered all of it some of it but let's move on to the next one. I'm trying to keep this video as, you know, as short as I can, but in a very meaningful way. Yeah, the next person. <coughs> let's move to the next one. This hair's so annoying. Man. All right. All right, here we go. Tips on how to save money and stay focused in life. I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> save money. <laughs> How to save money like i'm the worst person to ask i'm still struggling but the thing is i found it easier with um being in sanduk sanduk is easier for my sudanese girls so my sudanese women sanduk is easier you know it saves a lot of family and that's the that's a really good thing that sudanese comes with you know and i really appreciate that part that's the good thing a hundred percent that they've done very well Yeah, and I appreciate that with them. So sanduk and the rest I can't tell you because I'm a worse spender. <laughs> and but how to stay focused in life? How to stay focused in life is basically know your circle. If your circle is disturbing, move away. You know, it starts with the people around you. But if you're alone, you focus more what to do, how to schedule your life, how to schedule your day. You know, time runs so quickly nowadays. Like, if you schedule everything, all right, this time I'm doing this, this time I'm doing this, this time I'm doing this. Like, if I'm going to work, you know, I go to work and then I know what I'm doing next, you know, like going for a run, exercising at this time, doing kids' homework at this time, and the day goes so quickly you know so everything begins with you like you have to be by yourself to focus in life you can have that friend on the side you know just in case you're feeling emotional run to them and talk to them by your situation but the rest is disturbing the rest is distract you yeah the big big squad big circle will disturb you because everybody wants this one wants to hang out call you hang out this one wants to do this, this one wants to do this, and it feels like it's your duty to please all of them. So, know your circle, and yeah, if it's that, if it's one of those friends that they will understand, then they're true friend. But if it's those that say, oh, they don't never have time for me, then that's another, I know, that's reduced in life, reduced them away. Anyways, I hope that answer your situation. Alright, here's another one. Chai! <laughs>